What is going on guys Healy here and today I have the best hitting tips for you uh, I'm gonna show you examples and we're gonna go through a live playthrough of what I do what goes through my head and the settings you should be using to hit the baseball uh, if you guys haven't already I put out a video showing the best settings to use I would recommend checking that out first uh, this is an expansion on the hitting portion that I had out in that video, though. So we'll go over that in this video. There is going to be a pitching tips video also for you to check out as well. We're on the main home screen, and we're going to go over to the right to mini modes. We're going to go down to custom practice. In custom practice, you can use whatever teams you want to hit or pitch with. You select one team you want to use to hit and pitch with, and then you have a team that you want to play against, depending on how good you are and what overalls you want to go up against. We're going to use the Texas Rangers because their pitching staff isn't the best, and we're going to use the Cubs, of course. I did make some modifications, so and we're going to use the Cubs. I did make some changes to the rosters, you will see once we get into the game so once you're in practice you can hit start create a play we are gonna be hitting we're gonna start off with babe ruth i added babe ruth and vladimir guerrero to the cubs so we're gonna test those guys out we're gonna have babe ruth hitting and we are gonna have we're gonna have doug fister pitching and you can set the play to repeat so you can just have the batter keep going uh, so you can get the same situation if you want and under the settings for gameplay i showed this in my other video but i use zone hitting i feel like it's the best that you should use i use reticle which is this you could also use uh Classic and dy or Buckshot aren't too good. Wedge is another good one. Dynamic is this. The upper half is darker just because he's a power hitter. Or you could use Wedge, which looks like this. It has the mark in the middle so you can square things up. I used it a lot, but I personally use Radical. We'll set it on that hitting view you have zoom which is what i've been hitting and another good one that you could use is strike zone we'll create the play right now it's super close so you're able to see the ball recognize a lot of the the movement it's a larger area so you're under more control as well with the pci uh this is fine i personally just use zoom so I can see the batters, how they hit, and all that stuff. I'm going to use dynamic. Oh, here we go. Yeah, strike zone two. Strike zone three is a little more out. We have retro, which is super far behind. Zooms, what I use, is the show 15. Fish eye, a little zoomed out. Catcher high, never use that. The show 16, never use that as well. And then these you can't use online. And then you have offset and offset zoom. A lot of people like using offset zoom, but we're just going to use zoom for this tutorial. So that's the settings I use for hitting. We're going to use Babe Ruth for a bit. Then we are going to use Vlad Guerrero. So I personally like holding the PCI up top. So I can't get beat by the fastball. A lot of people online, especially with guys that throw in the hundreds, they love throwing the ball high and in. For me, it's a hard pitch to reach. And then if there's a breaking ball or a ball away, I time it upright where I'm able to pull the ball low if it's a breaking ball. Like, look at that home run, Beast Babe Ruth. Or if they throw a fastball away, I adjust to it in time and I'm able to push it to the opposite field. Righty versus lefty. Probably the easiest matchup you'll uh, have in this game as the lefties have the advantage and you see a lot of right-handed hitting 
are pitching in the game regardless. Oh, look at that home run. Look at that no doubt shot from Babe Ruth. Also with hitting, we don't have the count running, but I would recommend staying patient. Uh, if you get a fastball high and in, recommend crushing it. If not, I would recommend waiting a couple pitches. Patience is key. You just want to wait for your pitch, your spot. Uh, we're going to uh, flip this up, though, and we are going to use... We're going to use Cole Hamels, lefty versus lefty. Still the same with the PCI high and in. A lot of lefties online love throwing in the fastball high and in, or they throw the breaking stuff low and away. In the practice mode, I would recommend doing this because it's definitely hard to pick up the breaking ball some of the time. It's definitely unusual to hit from the left side part of the plate and also seeing a left-handed pitcher. Fastballs coming at a different speed, so you have to be a little more early on them to be able to crush the ball, have good timing, and it's just different movements. So lefty-lefty matchup, I would definitely recommend practicing a lot. And we're switching it back to a right-handed batter. We're going to use Vlad Guerrero and a right-handed pitcher. Now, the righty-righty matchup, a lot easier than the lefty lefty you see a lot more right-handed pitchers in baseball and right-handed hitting there's a lot of right-handers to begin with so just like a lefty though i would recommend putting the pci high and in so you don't get beat by the fastball and adjusting to the outside part maybe even the lower part for a breaking ball we almost got all of that one for righty righty matchups there's going to be a lot of breaking balls away. There's going to be pitchers with sliders, change-ups, curve balls. They love going to this bottom portion of the plate. So if you have your PCI up here, it's easier to track the ball and hit the breaking stuff low and away. Should have hit that sinker away. That would have been good timing right there by the time I reached it. Like, look at that. You throw it high and in. If you throw it outside, you're able to adjust to it. You'll get good timing and hit it where you're supposed to. That one was not too good. And then the righty versus lefty matchup. Probably the easiest matchup in the game. Lefties, for the most part, don't have a lot of velocity. They rely on movement. And in this game, if you're good at hitting the off-speed slower stuff, this is just going to be a cakewalk for you. Some pitchers have cutters, like Cole Hamels might have a cutter. A lot of lefties might have a circle change. But against a righty, it doesn't matter. They crush lefties. I'm going to try to get a couple hits in for you. We're going to take a, a couple more at-bats. Cole Hamels doesn't throw the hardest. Oh, that one should be gone. That one's ripped. Yeah, there you go. Vlad off the wall. Do that uh, sweeping curve. So easy to pick up. Practice mode is going to be your friend this year. I would recommend using practice mode if... You have trouble hitting certain pitchers. You have trouble hitting velocity. You have trouble hitting in certain situations. You can also use practice mode to throw runners on. So if you want to practice having a runner on second base, seeing a guy come out of the slide step, learning their timings, try to drive him in. You could do that as well. We could load the bases if we want in practice mode. Let's go, Vlad. And Vlad, the no doubter, Grand Salami. But yeah, that's it for these hitting tips. If you have any questions, make sure to look in the comment section down below. Uh, the settings are a huge part of hitting in this game. So try to try them out. If you have problems with them, I would recommend changing it to your preference. Also. You can change up the style that I hit with personally. 
I feel like you're most protected with where I have the PCI and stuff. It gets a little hard adjusting to it, but once you get it down, you will be good at the game. If you look in the comment section for a question that you have and you don't find it, make sure to comment it down below. I'll be sure to try to answer some questions for you if you have any. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe. This is Healy, and I am out. Peace!